everyone, it's Louisa, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing everything that is a part of my A Bug's Life collection, and I'm also going to be opening up a brand new retro vintage Bug's Life piece of merchandise that I recently got from a friend. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for coming back. I really appreciate the support, and if you're new here, Hi, my name is Louisa and I am just a girl who is trying to incorporate her childhood loves and hobbies into her adult lifestyle. One of those loves, A Bug's Life. Oh my gosh. This came out in 98 uh, when I was three years old and I absolutely loved A Bug's Life as a kid and I honestly still do love it. The bloopers, I can quote the bloopers of A Bug's Life pretty pretty well. I watch them all the time and they still make me laugh so much. And it's a movie that I feel like is kind of underrated, especially since Ants also did come out the same year. And, you know, there was that whole thing where there were two very large ant insect movies in the same year that came out and that were animated. Um, but I do think it is a great um, movie and it's kind of something that I'm associated with. Like that's one of the movies where it's like, oh, Louisa Ruby loves A Bug's Life. So I thought I would show what is in my Bug's Life collection and then I also just got a brand new piece in from a friend as a gift uh, that I thought I would open for you guys on camera. I have seen Punzi's Palace, aka Libby, do these types of collection videos and I've never really done one before besides like my pin collection, but I haven't done one for like a specific movie I don't think before. So. Uh, credit to her for the inspiration for this video and let's get on into it. So first we're gonna start with clothing This is the only piece of clothing a bug's life that I have but it says someday it would be a beautiful butterfly And it is Heimlich and I've had this shirt for years. I've I may have had it since high school um, It is originally from box lunch and it's very well loved Let's do plush next because plush are kind of like clothing, right? They're both soft and you know cuddly. I don't know Anyways, so this is a Princess Ada plush and it has original tag on it. I found this at my local antique mall. And what's interesting about this is that she has like a little, I think it's a holly scarf and it says 1998, so the year the movie came out. And it's kind of a Christmas plush or it could be used for holiday decoration. Um, it says on here that it was $12, but I, I want to say I got it for like four dollars maybe. I did make a video when I bought this so I will have that linked up in the cards uh, so um, I can remind myself how much this actually was but it was not twelve dollars um, and it's in great condition but that's one of the plush that I have and then there actually is a flick holiday plush where he has a Santa hat on um, that was released at the same time but I have this flick <laughs> plush um, okay, yeah, they're not quite the same size. Flick's a little bit bigger. Um, and this is actually a licensed Disney Parks plush. Look at that. Or licensed Disney plush, I should say. But, um, this is a Flick plush that I found at a Savers. And I said, absolutely, that is coming home with me. So, I do have Flick and Ada, just not quite the same set if you will. But those are the Bugs Life plushes that I have. Now let's go on to figures. So one thing, basically one of the only things that isn't a Funko is this gorgeous like Ada decor statue piece. I don't know what necessarily to call it, but it is Ada and there's this beautiful like painted flower at the bottom, has some leaves back here. And I also got this at an antique store. And what's interesting is that, yes, there it is damaged. Um, she is supposed to have a wing that goes out this way. Um, but honestly, the way I display her, I display it like this. So you can't really even tell that the wing is missing. Just it's supposed to be behind this wing, I guess. Um, and I believe I also got this out of Savers, but love, love this. I don't think that this one is also a Funko either, but the rest are Funkos. Um, but this is an Alien Remix Heimlich. Pretty cute. Then for Funkos, I have the one that I've had the longest is this Heimlich Funko. 
Um, I've had this since 2018, Christmas of 2018 is when I got it. And yep, so love it, still in the box. Love it. Can you tell Heimlich's one of my favorite Disney characters? Hopefully. <laughs> Who doesn't love Heimlich, let's be honest, come on. Then the rest of the Funkos that I have are Alien Remix Funkos. So this one is Dot, Alien Remix as a Dot. And I actually got this in a box swap. So that was pretty awesome. And then I bought these for myself because I really just wanted them. And they were a Target exclusive, I believe. But it's Aliens as Tuck and Roll, which uh, were my brother's like favorite characters from A Bug's Life. And so they always like, sometimes when they would pretend to be tuck and roll they'd be like oh aquifuddle and then like do their whole thing in the bloopers but tuck and roll ta-da there you go and then those are all of my bugs life figures here's something i only have one of and it is a bugs life book i only have one i did thrift this recently it's in beautiful condition it's part of the disney's wonderful world of reading um, and I believe it should have a copyright year of 1998. Yep, when it came out. So um, I definitely got these books as a kid. So I'm sure that I had this book when I was a kid, but um, I ended up giving those books away. Um, and now I find them at thrift stores and buy them back. So that's my life story. <laughs> these are my confessions. Okay. <laughs> Last but certainly not least, we have the category of Pins. So I have a huge big pin collection and every August I make a video showing my updated Disney pin collection so that video is coming just later on this month for this year but a subset of it is my Bugs Life collection. So I have this lanyard um, and it is a lounge fly lanyard and it has the circus bugs down here and I want to say that I got this from one of Fantastic. Uh, Pins's live sales on Instagram. I think that is where I got this. And I do have most of my Bugs Life pins. I have one that is not on here yet, but I will go through and show you guys these different pins here. So we have the Earth Day 2020 pin with Flick here. Love that. I guess I'll go 100% uh, on this side and then go down the other side. Then we have a Bugs Life 20th anniversary pin. I believe I got that one in a swap. I know I bought this for myself because I was like, I really want this one, but I believe that was purchased for me. Um, these two are part of a set from Box Lunch, I believe, that I got in a box swap. So you got Heimlich and you have either Tucker Roll. Then on the other side, starting from the bottom, we have this Alien Remix as Flick. We have uh, Francis and then either Tucker Roll from that same box lunch like circus set. And they were like upside down on the set when I got it. So it seemed like they were flipping. So that's why they're kind of upside down on my lanyard. Then I traded for this pin or I purchased this pin in a live sale. Can't tell you who from, sorry. But it is Ada and Flick in a lovely leaf. And it's just, I don't know, it's kind of romantic. They are a couple, so there you go. And then last but not least, I have this I'm a Beautiful Butterfly pin. And it's actually a fantasy pin that I got from a shop on Etsy. And I will try to find that video where I got this because I got several pins from that um, shop and I'll try to link that up in the card so you guys can see. But those are all of my Bugs Life Disney official pins. But I do have one more that's just not on the lanyard yet and I can't really decide if I want to put it on the lanyard. And it is this McDonald's A Bugs Life Dr. Pepper pin. Like, so these pins, I'm really having to get close. So these are like McDonald's crew pins. So whenever like a new Disney movie would come out, they would have these. Um, and I actually ordered a set from Mercari that included like Tarzan, um, something from like Inspector Gadget, and then it just happened to have this one. So I don't know if I want to do a separate like McDonald's collection of pins and then keep them all together like even though they're from different movies 
or I don't know if I put them, you know, if I put this one with the Bugs Life. So if anyone has any suggestions, leave a comment down below. Should I make like a Disney McDonald's pin collection by itself or should I put this in my Bugs Life pin collection on the lanyard? Let me know. Dare I say, I think that's everything. I don't have any Bugs Life ears, uh, no Bugs Life lounge fly. I think we're good. <laughs> This is my Bugs Life shelf. So if you're like, why do you just have an empty shelf uh, for this video? I took, yeah, I, this is my Bugs Life shelf. So <laughs> if you're like, hmm, nice blank space up there, Louisa. Yes, I know. Thank you. So now we can get into the newest addition to my A Bugs Life collection. And I guess I'll open it and kind of explain. Um, but I, I did something foolish and... <laughs> I found, I love looking on Etsy. Scrolling through Etsy is like my new pastime. It's so, I'm just so inspired by the creativity and the retro items I can find on there. Like I just find it endlessly fascinating. So um, I came across this kind of retro vintage item and I sent a picture in one of my group chats with some Disney friends. And I just said, oh, like, look at how cool this is. Cause we love vintage and like retro items. And you know, I just, you know, posted it. Cause I was like, oh, like, hey guys, like you like vintage things like me. Like, hey, check this out. One of my friends, Jake over at Jake's Disney Afternoon, my internet older brother got it for me and i'm super excited to show it off now so thank you jake you were way too generous oh check this out oh, what oh this is so cool it says thank you enjoy ellie and ellie is actually the owner of the etsy shop and i will definitely tell you guys where this came from amazing items super cool stuff um but she sent me this winnie as french fries pin and like, look at that Mickey outline. Dang. Thank you, Ellie. Okay, now it's time for the big reveal. What vintage Bugs Life item do I have? Thanks to Jake. So it's a backpack. I guess you could say this is my first of Bugs Life backpack. <laughs> And it's not a lounge fly, and that's okay. <laughs> but look at it! It's a Bugs Life. There's the icon, but it has Flick, and it says Rebel Ants. <laughs> and, um, yeah, wow. I just saw this, and I was like, what? I had a Bugs Life bed sheets when I was a kid, like when I was like five years old. And I'm very upset, because now I'm part of the Disney YouTube community, and I see what cool things people do with old stuff and vintage stuff and I'm like dang it why did my why did my mom why did I let my mom sell those at like a garage sale like four years ago but um because yeah but this is a product that is really cool it does have a nice pocket on the front that velcros down and then of course it has a bigger pocket and then it has this camo army camo all around the sides but let's see if this actually fits. I mean, obviously this is meant to be a child's backpack, but I think we can make this work. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know if those straps adjust anymore. This is how I break my new toy. Okay, well, there you go. Oh my gosh, look how fun this is. Thank you so much, Jake. This really means a lot to me. Um, you absolutely did not have to get this for me. I will have the Etsy store that this is from uh, put right here, edited right here so you can see it. Definitely check her out. Awesome stuff, really fun stuff. But that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button and hit that red subscribe button down below and ring the bell to be notified every time I post a brand new video. And if you want even more of me, you can find me over on Instagram at louisa.ruby or on TikTok at wheezequeen3. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again soon with a brand new video. Bye!